We're on the clock now where our panelists get one minute as a group to respond to recent news stories. The blog 24-7 Wall Street reported this week, ooh, hate to say this, that New Mexico is the second most violent state in the nation according to recent FBI statistics. Now, Eric, simple question. Fair fair assessment of our state? Did, what, did you have an issue? What, what did you make of this in 15 seconds? Well, I think I think the source, A, that it was a business publication, and two, that it's much more important than right to work, than uh, tax incentives in terms right. of economic development. If we don't solve this problem, mm -hmm. we can't recruit jobs, we can't keep jobs, and we can't keep, keep smart people here. That is a fact. Martha Burke? we got to go what's under it. We're second highest in poverty, first highest in bad in child well-being. Mm -hmm. We don't have any jobs. Mm -hmm. All of that is part of the package. All of it leads to violence. All of it leads to crime. We've got to solve those underlying problems. There you go. Tom Garrity. The report also mentioned, as uh, Martha did, uh, mm -hmm. poverty rate being very high, also high school graduation rate being yes. very low. Yes. Uh, so, you know, it goes back to the legislative session. What are they going to do to address those key issues? Mm -hmm. Merritt Allen. Um, I absolutely agree with everything that's uh, that, that's been said here. Um, mm -hmm. I'd add to it uh, a, a growing uh, substance abu abuse program problem. Pardon mm -hmm. me, substance abuse pro problem that we've not really addressed adequately. Yeah, there you go. It's all mixed up. The same thing, isn't it? Interesting. The Albuquerque Journal. You heard about this? Experienced a cyber attack on its website on Christmas Eve and another attack on its Twitter account this week. Now, cyber attacks is certainly big news right now. And merit, you know, I, I just got to think. You, you can hear about Sony, but Sony's in Los Angeles and all mm -hmm. the. But when it's in your hometown and you mm -hmm. hear about a cyber attack, it's, it's different, isn't it? It's just something feels different. I don't know, though. It, when it, and the idea that it might be ISIS or terrorists, all I can think is, you know, mm -hmm. that's a great way to get a free cybersecurity review by the FBI. <laughs> there you go. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Tom Garrity. You know, cybersecurity is a huge issue. Yes, and, joke, uh, you know, yeah. TV news organizations had already been hit. Albuquerque Journal, not once, not twice. You know, quietly, I'm thinking, how difficult is it to change a password? But these days, it's so much more complex than that. Yeah, exactly right, Eric. I'm going to have to plead the fifth on this one. No worries. I think, uh -huh. I think, no, I think, I know, I think I know some of the folks who might be involved in it. So. Oh, no kidding. It's a joke. Oh, I was hoping. All right. <laughs> well, that's a question. Is it really a, a terrorist threat or yeah. is it some that's people just trying to get a little publicity right. and s say they can do it? And why would they choose the journal? Yeah. But I think the more fundamental thing is that we all think as individuals, just like we did when we were 17, we're never going to die. We all think now that it won't happen to me, That's so right. I don't have to worry about you it. You can't copyright your own material on Facebook. Let's just get that clear. <laughs> <Right. laughs> ah, That's right. Stop <laughs> posting yeah, that. That's right. New subject, the Albuquerque Journal reported that change in the state's unemployment insurance program are having an unexpected impact on some local businesses. The employer contribution rate is now calculated based on how often the businesses use the program. Tom, this is a tough one to get our arms around in one minute, certainly. But what surprised you about this article? It was kind of a shock for a well, lot of business owners. It was, and as a business yeah. owner, I, this is something I look at on a, on a quarterly basis sure. when we get those forms out. Here's what the big rub is for me, yeah. is that you have um, small businesses who, because of a very bad economy, are getting stung by the government because they can't keep people employed. That's right. And so you can't get people employed, so your percentage rate goes up. That's right. And it's just like, get us some jobs, people. That's get right. us some jobs. Even if one out of your eight-person shop leaves, it, it, it's very impactful. Well, and yes, and, and what this also does is I mm -hmm. think it steers, the reason we see the job creation not uh, keeping up is because it is so expensive to have employees. So you see a lot more part uh, team, you see a lot more consultants. And, you know, this makes me just think, well, let's just take everybody 1099 and help them with health care, because this, this is this too hard. Right, exactly right. Eric Rago, what do you think on this well, one? I I think it affects, you know, I was a nonprofit executive and, you know, this hurts folks, uh, you know, my own business, it, mm -hmm. it affects people who are trying to, uh, who are trying to just do well, but I think it gets back to the jobs question. And, uh, until we really have a, a better solution for keeping people employed and solving the underlying problems, mm -hmm. this is, this, you know, everybody's going to be hurt, including small businesses, small nonprofits um, are going to have to, going to have to help keep people from, you know, from being That's destitute, right. essentially. Exactly right. Martha, going to hold you on that one, a little short on time. A woman from Chimayo filed a lawsuit against the company Ann Tainter for using a picture of her as a teenager on a flask and other items with the phrase, I'm quoting here, I'm going to be the most popular girl in rehab. And Martha, what did you, what did you make of this? I, we were talking off air that I've always wondered how this works. What happens if you see yourself on something like this? Yeah, well, I've always wondered that. It depends on whether you're considered a public figure. That's a good if point. you are, okay. they can use your picture. Ah. Uh, but in this case, She's not a public figure. Right. Uh, clearly, as they say, mistakes were made. Yeah. What happened was the company that used the image actually paid for it. Okay. They have a right to assume mm -hmm. that the seller 
owned the image. That's the right. seller did not own the image. That's where the liability comes in. Yeah, that's interesting. Eric, what did you make of this? Well, well, how you would know, you feel if you, you're a public figure. Well, I'm a public figure, so I got no protection. You know, I'm kind of mm -hmm. bummed. I wouldn't, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind being on a, some <laughs> kind of memorabilia from a New York <laughs> store. But I mean, you know, you know this woman, yeah. the right to her privacy, you know, I mean, I, my high school picture was a lot worse than that one. I can tell you that. So, so uh, there you go. But she's also the woman in question here. She's not a drinker. No. She's not. You know, she doesn't appreciate being on a flask saying about rehab. Right. You and know it's what just I mean? not in New York. It's yeah. also in Santa Fe. That's right. Uh, where That's a lot right. of this stuff is for sale too. And mm -hmm. and you know, I I I hope she's tremendously successful, and I hope she gets. Um, you know, she feels like she's made whole as a result. Yeah, I'm going to hold you there. Tom reminded us this week that it was New Mexico's birthday on January 6th. I want to hear one thing each of you are proud about our state and maybe one thing you would like to improve. I'm going to start with you, Mary. What, what's one thing you love about our wonderful state that's now getting All older? these people. I, I moved back here. I grew up in Silver City. I moved back here um, after 15 years in the Navy because yeah. this is where I wanted to be because of the people. Um, I just wish that we could do better for our people, particularly yeah. with education and uh, economic development. I'm swooning here about a story about moving back. See, I love that. Everyone's moving out. I want people to move back. Exactly. Uh, you know, I think the multicultural <laughs> aspect of the state is something that we should celebrate, as yeah. well as uh, looking forward, uh, fixing the issue with regards to water. Yeah. Going to be critical to our future. Good point there. Eric Riegel. I, I, you know, the diversity and the cultural, you know, the cultural appreciation we have in our native cultures and our other cultures. And yeah. so, uh, so I, I, I think that's what makes this place so spe special among a lot of other things. I also was gone for 10 years and moved back. Mm -hmm. I think this issue with PNM and do we embrace a different kind of future for our kids and for families to solve all these problems with renewable energy and a different mm -hmm. way of doing business for our economy, I think that's our biggest challenge. Good point, Martha Burke. Well, what I love about it is the geographic diversity. Yeah. We live in a state that's five or six different regions, really, and that's great. Yeah. Uh, what I hate about it is we're still number one in teen pregnancy. We're number two in poverty. Mm -hmm. We're number three in uh, violent crime. Mm -hmm. uh, we're number three in drug overdoses. Uh, so we got to fix all that. Oh gosh, and we're last in job creation, as we've all said. I don't want to have cake right. now. I just right. <laughs> we're going to celebrate anyway. We're gonna celebrate. Cake Thank and no ice cream. That's yeah. right. Thank you all for being here. Good stuff tonight. I'm Gene Grant. Thank you for joining us. You can find segments from this week's show online at NewMexicoInFocus.org. And join us next week for previews of the upcoming 2015 legislative session. If there's a topic you would like to see covered, send us an email through our website. All of us here at New Mexico and Focus appreciate your time and your effort to stay informed and engaged. And we'll see you next week in Focus.